Hello everyone, bonjour, bonsoir, welcome back for another lock extension video. Two disclaimers, if you don't like lock extensions, please, please do not watch, please remove yourself. I will not argue with you in the comments. But today I will be attaching 8 inch medium sized lock extensions to these starter locks. They are one month into the locking process and this client wanted extensions on her starter locks she wanted to keep her parts she didn't want new parts or new sizing or anything like that she just wanted lock extensions so that's what we will be doing today now as you watch you will see that I will have to unravel her coils to attach that's because they really were not not even budding yet so it was the easiest way to go ahead and attach so this is the first lock I'm attaching. This is not too good footage, so stay tuned. Um, Zion is actually the, my cameraman for this day. He didn't do too bad, but I'm just going to let this run, and then we're going to go in with some more locks, and, and I'm going to explain a little bit more about what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, and why. Okay, and this lock is complete, so we're gonna move on to the other locks that are on the first row. So there are two methods that I'm using today. One is the lock with the loose hair on the end and the lock without the loose hair because sometimes I make the extension very long if I know I'm gonna be the one attaching it and I'll just cut it in half and she wanted some of them I, I believe I made them too long and this client wanted eight inches so I had to cut some of it off and I didn't want to cut where I sealed the ends so I would rather cut where I'm going to attach it just ac accommodate for that so this is the method that's on this lock here and as you can see it's pretty much the same just a little modified I'm just taking the lock attaching it first with the blunt part and then I take some loose hair where loose hair would be on a regular lock extension that I make and use that to blend the client's hair to the lock extension that way there's no gaps and there's no just lumps just sitting there because there was no blend or there was no transition from the lock to the hair. And once again, she wanted to keep her original starter lock parts, so I will not be messing with those. I'll just do my very best to keep the parts neat as I attach the lock extensions. Moving on to the next lock. Now this lock is typically how my lock extensions look, especially when they are just made, um, especially when I have to ship them off. I leave the loose hair out. That way it's easier for whoever is attaching it. If they feel more comfortable with the loose hair, they can keep it there. They already have it there. Or if they don't feel comfortable with it, they can easily remove it. It's just the option is there. 
And as you can see, this as you can see, this method is a little bit quicker because you don't have to stop and add the loose hair. However, you can run into an issue where a lock was made maybe too long accidentally and you don't want one odd lock sitting there. You would it would be better to cut the area that's going to be attached than to cut the sealed end because you don't want that lock extension to start unraveling or having a puffy end. So that would be in a case where I would have to do that. So here's the first row and I'm just insta snapping whatever it's called for my hair page. If you don't follow already, it is DXLYN Locks on Instagram and DXLYN Vlogs on Facebook. The most common question I get, especially in the comments, is how to order lock extensions for me and how to book an appointment with me for attachment or installation or even just a regular retwist. Email me at dxlynlocks at gmail.com now i don't take dms anymore i definitely don't book through the comments dms got to be a little crazy booking through the comments definitely would be crazy so you would have to email me at dxlynlocks at gmail.com i have team members that will get back to you they have the information that you need um they have all the knowledge that they need to quote you or um, give you further information, whatever the case may be, you'll get that through that email. That is the only way to contact me about setting up appointments. And if you need to order lock extensions, you don't even need to email. There is a link in the description and I may put it in the comments also, or you can go to my Etsy shop and browse photos and charts and order your locks there to be shipped to you at your convenience. This is the finished product. Her locks installed, done. And this was three and a half hours in. All right, and here we are going to wash her lock extensions as well as her roots. So yes, these lock extensions can be washed right away. And to answer a few FAQs, Yes, you can comb out lock extensions. You don't have to cut your hair if you want to remove them. You can comb them out. Also, also these lock extensions, um, this particular method of hand making, pre-making lock extensions before attaching them, they're not heavy. They will not weigh your hair down. However, I don't suggest if you have damaged hair or you, got, you have um, bald spots or thinning in your natural hair i don't advise putting any type of extra hair on your head if you have that going on but these lock extensions are not heavy they're not like the wrapped ones um those are more temporary at least i feel like they should be temporary if you're gonna get those these are more permanent and permanent being in quotes because you can remove it whenever you want um it's not like you're stuck with these the only re I feel like the name permanent really speaks to the fact that they look so much like natural locks. Okay, all done washing. As you can see, the locks are kind of a bit different after washing. They're not as stiff. They're moving like natural locks and, of course, feeling more like natural locks. They're virtually undetectable when it comes to, you know, someone seeing if, you're, if your locks are extensions. And here we're just going to go in with a fresh retwist um, and two strand twist to preserve her retwist. Also, a lot. if you would like to see how I do two strand twist, um, there are several videos on my channel on how I do two strand twist, so I'm not going to go into it in this video. There are several videos on how I do two strand twist on locks.
So this is the finished product. I moisturized her hair with um, a mixture of oils and I, the finishing oil is peppermint oil. And a lot of you wanted to know how do I know what oil to use on whose hair? It depends on what's going on with their hair. Is it dry? Is it already moisturized? Um, is their scalp dry? You have to do your research and figure out what oils will work for dry scalp. Or if the person has a scalp condition, you may want to be careful with the oils that you use. But yeah, that is it. We put the two strand twists up in a bun and she loved her hair very much. She was very, very satisfied. I That is like icing on the cake for me. I love when my clients are satisfied. I work to make sure that they are. And thank you guys so much for watching. So much, thank you so much for supporting. Um, let me know what you think about the this, let me know what you think about this installation and definitely stay tuned for more videos follow me on social media and i will see you in my next video bye guys